Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here, and today we were playing the deck I saw yesterday. <laughs> if I'm being honest, after seeing that deck, it's been like the only thing I've been thinking about. So, in order to do it, we have to do one thing we have to create this. I also love the fact that these are the other options in ETC. <laughs> um, sorry about that, got interrupted there. Um, but yeah. I, I fixed the, the thing. So, basically, for those who didn't see yesterday's video, I guess I should specify this. This is a combo deck where your goal of your combo is to resolve Reno. Reno has the magic bullets. There's one of them that says refresh two mana crystals. I guess you guys can see where this is going. You'll refresh two mana crystals, you'll deal two damage. You'll refresh two mana, or sorry, you'll deal two damage, refresh two mana crystals, deal two damage, refresh two mana crystals. Because it only refreshes at the end of turn. Therefore, every single time when you loop it and you press it multiple times, because Kaldara Drake says you can use your cure power any amount of times, you can just shoot down your opponent to death. So, besides that, it's a fairly standard Reno hero power mage uh, build. I actually think. ETC should be different, so I am going to change it. The, uh, this is just a list I found online. Uh, I am going to go with... I want the second wildfire, but I also want... a board wipe of some sort, I feel. Does this deck already have ice block in it? Oh, it has one. I can put a second ice block as well. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a second ice block. Uh, where's ice block? Ice block. Man, is there anything else I want to play? I feel like I want more removal, but that that I can wait for later, I guess. Um, or like next iteration, but I feel like this is pretty solid. Uh, overall. So, with that being said. Uh, how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. Because, yeah, I'll see you guys all there. Alright. So, I guess this first matchup is going to be aggro. If you cast five or more spells this game. Uh, I don't know. I don't think this has to be in your hand. Because it says this game. I feel like I could mull this here. You can use this to try and get ice block. I mean that if we do have double Reno in this deck. Why do we have the uh, oh we have Yogg for that guy because this is just spells cast. Uh yeah. I have a feeling this is probably just a bot. That'd be my guess. Okay. Um hmm. Yeah, we get a secret, we pass. He has an O3 in hand, I guess. He actually hit, like, arguably the best totem, I feel. Because now my hero power feels useless until I hit Wildfire. That's a good draw. I could have played this, but I didn't. Oh, well. Um, hmm. I need to hit removal of some sort. I need to hit Wildfire, actually. I should have probably hard mold for Wildfire. Is my guess. That's a new one. Hmm. We do have. I mean, again, the frost of my hero part is absolutely nothing here. Um. I'm debating if I slam Lorekeeper on four. Probably not, right? Lorekeeper on four. I draw Amazing Reno. Emperor on five. Hmm. He's pushing so much damage here.
Fucking Christ. I'm trying to figure out what the right play is here. I'm taking a million damage this turn. And the thing is, I can't do anything really about it. Hmm. I need... I needed to draw Wildfire last turn. So if I go Lore Keeper right now, right? I draw Amazing Reno. Next turn. So I draw Amazing Reno next turn. I can Solid Alibi. Did I draw Lone Ranger or more? Ah, oh, fuck. The problem is I'm not guaranteed that. <sighs> I think I just play a minion here just to have something on board. It's a bot, so he's going to probably think, like, this is a good trade, and he's going to do the trade. This also builds this up is the big thing, right? This puts this to 9. Oh, no, it puts it all the way up to 10. Beautiful. Oh, no, no. Okay, I was correct. Which is really good. Oh, was again, the healing totem is what cocks me. Survive? Are you fucking serious? The bot always goes for lethal here, right? I'm convinced that the boss, the bot is going to go for lethal. I'm hoping to be able to get two turns of the Emperor. Because if the bot does go for lethal, I do get a second turn of it. Punches me with the six. I have to, I have to Reno anyways. But if he doesn't go for the lethal, I get the Reno here, and that's really fucking good. Because he played the crackle on my face, right? He rolled double five, that's really lucky. Because right now he has to choose between going for lethal, right? Unless he has a buff spell in hand. Going for lethal and proc in the block. Or killing the Emperor. And I don't know... So I feel like he is playing kind of bot-ish. I don't know how what the bots qualify Emperor as. Because I know like a real person considers a threat, but also considers proccing block a threat. Um, he doesn't go for lethal. He just went AFK. Did his bot disconnect? That'd be funny. Well, the butt disconnected. He disconnected. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, I guess the bot DC'd or some shit because. Yeah, that, that was interesting. Um. Alright, well, let's uh queue up the next game, I guess. I guess, yeah, I'll see you guys all there. All right. I like this card a lot in this matchup. I'm going to mull the Modash. Even though I love Modash, I feel like I have to mull him here. Emp is actually an interesting draw. This should probably realistically actually have anti-combo pieces inside of it. It should have the sticky fingers and should have Theo. Instead of putting what I put inside of it. Like what I put inside of it's still good, but it's not ideal if that makes sense. Missing one damage is really bad in this deck. Um should be fine though. Oh, I'm playing against Kingsbane, you gross fuck. You gross. Oh, I sure have to pick my card. I want to pick Ice Block here, I think. 
It's your ice block or wildfire, but I think wildfire might actually just be slightly better here. Just see, I hope he misses on his king's main draw like three more times. The odds of him having missed it now is very, very low. Oh, he's actually going to worry that I'm holding. I shouldn't play this wildfire. I really want to, but I really shouldn't. Ugh. I really, I, I can't play the wildfire. Oh, I should have shot this. That's my bad. I really should have shot this here, because then I could have killed it off. He has to now worry that this is Sticky Fingers. Uh outbraining our opponent. Go far again. Do it. <laughs> oh, this was the biggest brain play of my life. <laughs> uh, go far here. Do this. Develop this. I want to play this here, I think, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to think what the right call here is. Hmm. I mean, he doesn't have any other minions. This just saves me one health, I guess. He's going to draw and then hero power again. Uh, he's going to be really sad after my answer to it is going to be Zephyrus to pop it. He's going to be really sad when he knows that that's my answer. Let's, let's just play this here. We'll force him to draw his king's man again. How much am I off here? Four off. The one turn that's ice block. I kind of want to kill him with the rag. He's in a blade flurry here. <laughs> he now knows that I never had sticky fingers. What a magic moment. Hopefully he doesn't have the anti-secret card, that would suck. Lol, he never even noticed.
Uh, burn them to ash, Ragnaros. <laughs> Die, insect. <laughs> uh, who needs to combo when you have the power of killing him as an insect? Big brain. I I love this deck already. The fact that I, the fact that I like did that, and he's like, "Oh fuck, he has sticky fingers. I gotta play around that shit." And then like later on, I just go wildfire question mark, and he's. It's probably why it took him so so, so long at the start of his turn. He's like, wait, "Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. That was his etc card. What the fuck? I could have probably played it earlier because I, again, I do think he thought that was my etc card, but he also." Kept the King's Bane in hand afterwards, so you never know. But God, that's funny. <laughs> that was really, really funny. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's uh, let's queue up the next game. Alright, guys, I'll see you guys all there. All right, a priest. This is one of those matchups where this card is the card I want to draw at the end of the game. And everything else is fine to draw now. Because if I draw that, if I draw Kaldara Drake too early and he steals it, I just, to be fair, if at any point throughout the game he steals it, I lose the game. So, give me a Wildfire. That's what I really need. Wildfire is the card I need the most here because it's so good with this. I fucking hate this guy for breathing. Oh, that's a little aggressive, but. I'm dead on turn three. Oh, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, the game was fun to play this next turn, then play this, and still just dead on three, but hey. Pretty sure he thinks he's good at the game, too, which is the worst part. Because there's no way I survived till six, right? There's, okay, there's zero way I survived till six. Nothing beats the start. Do da do da. Nothing fucking beats the start ever. I mean, good job. You drew fucking perfectly. There's nothing I can do. I'm just dead next to this here, Pyre. much fun this deck this card right here needs to be removed void touch attendant needs to be removed and this should not be a pirate but whatever aggro priest is going to stay broken and nothing can change that all right let's skip the next one oh great another aggro deck um all right well Legit, it's actually so annoying because I went from like actually having fun in the previous games You know both players getting to do what they wanted to do to just being Like no longer having fun right after fucking queuing up against aggro priest and dying on turn three like You know a, There's no reason for that card to say everything does one more damage. It's zero reason It should legitimately just say hero power steal one more damage, but that would make the card balanced. I'm pretty sure coin hero power here is correct. Like, it, I feel like in this matchup, it's one of those things where you just never want your opponent to get ahead. And leaving that up kind of lets him get ahead. I want the hero power again and get a 1-1. One, one. This way I get to kill it again for free. Or something that doesn't roll healing totem this turn, I should be fine. Should be fine. Oh, I get to go play magic today. I guess as this video goes up, it's today. And I could not be more hyped. I'm so excited to go play. No healing totem one time. Thank God. I'm actually super excited to go play magic. It feels like it's been forever since I've gone. And my friend won't let me forget that it feels like it's been forever. Like, man, 
when was the last time we went to go play magic together we have to go play magic i'm like bro i'm coming this one so he's like bro you sure last time you told me you were coming was friday and uh you wanted to work i'm like yeah time before that you told me you were coming you got called to work on your way i'm like yeah time before that you told me that you were coming we went to, we you came with me to the bus and then you took the bus to work i'm like yeah I, i've been to be fair I, i'll be honest i've been working a fuck load recently just gotta do what you gotta do you know you gotta make your bank somehow uh let's go with this here i didn't want to waste this and i think taking four damage is like fine it also gave me an additional one shot two three shots with my hero power so more dash should be active by the time i hit turn eight which means i do have a board reset on eight that domes him for 10. oh fuck that's a lot of damage 10 13 13 is a lot of damages Wait, so I'm actually going for the 13. Let's be to 11. Uh, alright, well. This being frozen means it can't attack me. Next turn, I can either Reno or I can Frost Nova Ice Block or I can Frost Nova Arcane Intellect or I can just trade. You know, I have a whole bunch of potential plays next turn. That's fine. No healing one time. No healing. Let's go. No healing two time. So one and four for this one. Fuck. Ah, oh, yeah. Ha. Didn't expect that one. Not going to lie, Chief. Um. Let's freeze draw, I guess. Mm. Uh. Aha. One, two, three. Hmm. I'm debating if I want to throw this out against something. Nah, right, because if he does, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm at four. I'll have to block up. Yeah, it should be fun. We do this. We more dash next turn with a block still up. I don't think there's a way he can rock the block here. He probably's not even gonna commit a buff to the board. Yeah. Okay, I don't think he's gonna commit like totemic might. Yeah, so Mardesh now wipes. Oak. And now we just hope to draw Arena. And Kaldara, well, we have the we have a Kaldara Drake. We just need to draw a Reno now. It'd actually been better if this was Reno, because then I could get the Kaldara Drake next turn. Reno? That's not Reno. Uh, I guess let's just do this. We'll pick Kaldara Drake. We'll trade here. 
develop amp. Emperor Thoris, I mean, I wish they dropped amp to down to four and not five. I feel like on four is like the sweet spot for the card. I feel like on five, she's still too expensive for most decks. Sorry about that. I currently making a lasagna sauce, and my dad was just telling me that it's like bubbling down, well, simmering, but yeah, bubbling down is his words. <laughs> it's gonna ten cost you, I guess. Six of all my dudes. Draw three. Yes. I sadly never got to do the Koldara Drake combo. I don't know what time I got interrupted at at the start. I think there's time for one last game after this, so. Let's just end his existence. Alright, we end his existence and we try for it one last time. So far though, the stack is actually feeling pretty solid. All things considered. It's, 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 I like it. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's, uh, queue up the next one. Alright, another shaman. God damn it, man. Maldus, Maldus, keep the removal and that. Uh. Where's my snipping tool? Sorry. Something is happening in my house. I need to send it to my brother. We have turned our curse into our strength. Pago. I don't know what it looks like. Oh, again, I need to forget to not alt tab in videos. Hago. Uh, yeah, I think this is still correct. This hand's actually looking really, really solid. As long as we draw some amount of gas for, um, for the mid to late game. This is, this hand's looking pretty solid. We have Ice Block. We have First Flame. We have Frost Nova. Solid Alibi. Prentice. It's not healing. Alright, alright. No healing, two times. First time? Block. Second time? Oh, we actually high rolled. Let's go. Um, let's do this. Let's shoot this down. And kill this next turn. Uh, yeah. All right, now is when we have to start drawing relevant cards. Is the big thing. If we continue drawing. Oh, that is really bad for us now. That is really fucking bad. At least I'm gonna kill this for free here, unless he has Totemic Money. Not really free, but... I do get to kill it. That, that. I can freeze this the next two turns. Stems five damage each turn. I've played first flame. I now have played second flame. And I have played this. I think I want this to try and hit this. I think it's slightly better here than either of those two cards. I'm probably playing Solid Alibi next turn. 
to this plus this and to this potentially plus this I'm not a hundred percent sure what my play is actually I'm at three spells but I'm probably I'm doing this for sure right because I'll take six damage seven damage No, if I do this, I should try and get that, I think. Yeah, let's try and get that. Oh, I also played the coin. I'm just dead now. Hmm. I guess this. So, the thing is this... Gets me up to more dash. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess let's start with this. Amazing Reno is so much mana. I don't know if I can get that far. This matchup is going to be super hard to win from here. I drew a dead card in this, which really, really sucks. I have a cramp in my palm right now, and that sucks. I need to survive till T9, right? Like, that's what it's looking like. Take six here, not four. I can ice block. Deal two. That would be a two. I guess I could draw Lone Ranger this turn. And then I'm at 9, which would be great. Yeah, I have to draw Lone Ranger this turn. This Mordash is not good enough. 3. This cramp sucks. I have to go for ice block this turn. Okay, well, I didn't use my hero power enough, so Mordash is not active. I have Lone Ranger that's an out. I have... ETC is an out. I have Zephyrus is not an out anymore. So I have Lone Ranger and I have ETC. There are my only two outs. Fun. That was neither of those cards. This doesn't work the way I want it to work anymore, right? Can't believe I'm one mana off this. I'm three mana off this. If only I had dr not drawn ice block, I had this. There's nothing I can do, right? Man, I had two outs in my deck. I drew so many cards and they were not that. Hmm. Man, I can't believe I was slightly off mana wise. I was like fucking one mana off. Oh, uh, if I didn't fail to account for the coin. I was fine, which is the worst part. That's that's tilting. That's really fucking tilting. Oh well. Shit happens, I guess. Um anyways, we have packs open. I've gotten that four times now. Uh we got our pretty wishing wells. There we go. 
We got some gold. I'm gonna save the gold for tomorrow, since I'm not sure what set I want to open, if I'm being honest. Um, having all the cards now in that set. I guess I go to Mean Streets, right? Try to get golden patches, or diamond patches, for a deck I never want to play. Seems worth. So, uh, why do you have diamond patches? Uh, just so I can say I do. No other reason. That or I'll continue going down the list. I'll see which sets still have diamonds that I want. And I'll pitch, I'll go to that set. It might actually oh it's probably Diamond Zola, right? Because that's sick. Anyways, we sadly didn't get to show off the combo in the deck. Which happens. Um I definitely want to try playing this deck on stream when I can get back to streaming and I'm not busy. <laughs> I've ugh, I've been so fucking busy. I'm I am so tired of being so busy, if I'm being honest. Um Anyways, my brain is lagging. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah, but no, this deck actually, it, it, I wouldn't say it's great, but it felt really good. I feel like there's some cards you can swap out or swap in. Um, I think like something like this can unironically be good. Um, what else could be good? The four drop cycle card. Cabalstone is four men now. Ah! Uh, fire sail could be good. The playing a second secret in case you draw the ice block. Uh, in flame ward could be good. There's, there's a lot of cards that could be good. I'm just... Again. I, I just took a list I saw online. Some cards like Pyromaniac could be good in slower matchups, but I felt like in these matchups at least it was kind of slow. Um, but yeah, anyways, I uh, don't have much else to say, so I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Um, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. I'm tired. I need to go to bed. I had work earlier today. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.